Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In today's interaction, we will solve a numerical based on the acceleration analysis of four power mechanism using analytical method. So we will be solving example 7.2 from the fifth edition of Design of Machinery book by Robert Norton. <music> Okay, dear students, so we are going to do the acceleration analysis for the given problem. In the given problem, we are given with the four length lengths. Uh, so these are the four lengths of the four bar mechanism, A, B, C, D, which are related to length number one, two, three, four. Then we have the four positions of the four bar mechanism. Theta one is zero because it is aligned with the horizontal axis and we are measuring all angles from the horizontal axis. Then we have the angular velocities of the four lengths. Zero is omega one because it is a fixed length, so there it will not be moving. It has zero angular velocity. Likewise, in the acceleration analysis, when we are going to do acceleration analysis today, uh, here the angular acceleration for length number one is again zero because it is for sure when it is not moving at all, it is already known that it is zero. This acceleration alpha two, where that is 15 radian per second square, is given to us. So that is that will be given uh, available to us and what we have to find based on this angular acceleration alpha 2 we have to calculate alpha 3 which is unknown and alpha 4 which is unknown again and we are have already developed equations for acceleration analysis we have those equations we will use those equations which will be taking these other variables into them and when we can find the alpha 3 and alpha 4 similarly not only the angular acce angular accelerations we have also to find the linear accelerations so a a is the linear acceleration of point a that is a vector and that has further two components the tangential a and the normal a so that a a is the sum of these two vectors similarly the b a is the acceleration of b with respect to point a so b is the point where leg number two and leg number three are joining and these this point also has two components of acceleration one is the tangential component one is the uh, one is the normal component here so these two together will form the aba and then we have the ab that is the ex uh, linear acceleration of point b alone that is not relative so this p point has one normal acceleration in this direction and one tangential acceleration in uh, in where is ab uh, this this is in fact uh, uh, a B okay so a B uh, tangential here is here so these two summation gives you the acceleration of B so that is more related to link number four which is the output link here in case and link number two we are considering it as supposing it to be the input link so we have already developed equations for that so if we go to them this is something uh, the Excel and, and the equation given to us which has these uh, variables these constants in the form of a b c d e f so these are the four six alphabets we were talking about so these six uh, a b c d e f can be calculated using the equations there these equations all the variables are already given to us in the table then when we will be able to calculate these we will be able to find alpha 3 and alpha 4 and then in the next stage we will be calculating the uh, linear accelerations for which the equations are already given so whenever you will be solving these you will be given with these equations and you will insert all the values you will find those values from the uh, from the statement given to you and you will uh, insert the error. so uh, based on these two uh, procedure i just told you let's calculate these so based on the uh, e equations and variables given to us i calculate the, these all variables let's to go to a first this a is c sine theta 4 so c is here given to me and theta 4 is here given to me so when i will take the sign of this theta 4 and multiply it with 80 millimeters i will be getting the value of a which comes out to be 67.340 uh, okay 
so this is its value uh, the value of b when i take the b from here and sine theta 3 from here it comes out to be 41.628 and c which has more variables here a is the length length alpha 2 is the angular acceleration here so here we are using these theta 2 is the angle this theta 2 l a again is already given l omega 2 is this angular acceleration theta 2 is the uh, theta 2 is the, again the 40 degrees we calculated here so we will find it b uh, we will calculate it b is the length length b 120 millimeter omega 3 is minus 4.1 to 1 radian per second square theta 3 is uh, 20.298 degrees so we'll calculate this uh, constraint then this c is the length length uh, c80 omega 4 is 6.998 theta 4 is 57.325 so when we will calculate it the value of constant c comes out to be uh, 1 9 uh, 3 3 2.98 you can calculate it using your calculators or uh, numerical model uh, uh, analytical models of like excel or matlab so in the exam you can use the mat, uh, the calculator similarly for d which is c cos theta 4 it comes out to be uh, 43.190 and uh, e comes out to be 112.5 Four eight and F comes out to be uh, minus one three zero one nine point two five. Okay, so based on these values, if I calculate alpha three by putting a c d a f a e b d from here, which I just calculated, uh, this uh, alpha three comes out to be uh, two sixty. 9.089 and this value is in radian per second square similarly these six other variables if i calculate in the same way from ce bf a a e and bd these come out to be uh, 470 point one three for radian per second scale so uh, now talking about the linear accelerations the equation we tried we had two components always so one was the x component and one was the y component so it goes for all three uh, acceleration vectors vectors for acceleration of point a vector of acceleration of b with respect to a and acceleration of b so all these x and y components are here so the x and y components are disintegrated on the basis of the iota operator and with and without uh, iota operator so based on these these are the component equations we are given with and now we will choose these values of alpha 2 alpha 3 the linear lengths and the angular velocities so now we calculate these things based on the values we have and if we calculate these things we are caught with all the variables here if i calculate a b a x it comes out to be minus 14.237 meter per second square and if I go for BFY, it comes to be 32.617 meter per second square. If I calculate the ABX component, it is minus 33.774 meter per second square. And this ABY is 17.00 seven meter per second square and similarly ax comes to be minus 19.537 meter per second square 
and the last one AAY component is minus 15.6 minus 15.6 one seven meter per second square so these are the values so when we have calculated the components of these vectors now we can find the magnitude of the vector which is required by us so for finding the magnitude we always use this square root equation so we'll scare this value and scare this value and take the under root of that that will give the value of the acceleration of point A and if we have to find the angle or orientation of that factor that could be found by using this uh, tangent inverse uh, equation so here we just need to calculate what is required by us is to find the magnitude of this factor so I will just put these two values which I already calculated here and I will use them to find the acceleration of point A and after calculation which I calculated uh, it comes out to be 25.000117 okay meter per second square never forget to write the units uh, remember that we calculated the lengths in millimeters but the value of accelerations were higher so we are giving the accelerations in meter per second square similarly the acceleration of point b a b with respect to a found from these two components comes out to be that is b a that is calculated to be 35 uh, 0.58 meter per second square and uh, the last one is the acceleration of b and that is 37.8143 meter per second square so this b acceleration is calculated from taking the square of abx and a b uh, y so here you can see that all these x and y components are orthogonal components which are at 90 degree to each other so if you have to find their angles of any vector you can take the help of this tan inverse equation and this these values are just the magnitude if you go back to what we were asked to do so here we are here are the three linear accelerations were required from us and the two angular accelerations. These two, based on the orientation which uh, we took, we already have these two LV accelerations. So here you can say that alpha 2 has a value of 15 radians per second square. Alpha 1, which is stationary, has no angular acceleration. Alpha 3, which is for the length number 3, is 269.089 radians per second. Alpha 4, which is this last one, is again 470. So all these values positive means that they are anti-clockwise. That is not uh, all, always sure that if alpha 2 is clockwise, these will be anti-clockwise or clockwise. It is never sure. So you cannot predict the direction of it unless until you find their value with the analytical analysis and for the linear uh, accelerations this aa and at this aa is the vector this the uh, resultant of these two component vectors aba is the is the resultant of these two ones and ab is the resultant of this ab so this is normal and distinguished so this is how you can find the acceleration analysis you can do the acceleration analysis of four bar pin joint mechanism remember Remember that these this time in this mechanism all the lengths lengths were clearly given if you have any other mechanism in which the shape and geometry is different you have to locate these length lengths these positions by your own self by attaching a coordinate system by yourself and then you can look for the velocities and accelerations known and unknown and likewise you can go for your unknown values so thank you very much remember to comment 
uh, at the bottom in order to have the feedback and future interactions. Thank you.